What's going on guys? I'm Banker, Custom Offsets Garage on the YouTube, and today I have Taylor, uh, Taylor.co. Apparently she's an influencer on the Instagram. I don't know, I've never heard of her. I hate you. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of her. She's like important and stuff. Uh, today- oh, Wow, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Oh. Anyway. Thank you for guys. interrupting me. Anyway, if you don't recognize this truck behind me, it means you're probably pretty new to the channel. And if you do recognize the truck behind me, thank you for staying with us for the last seven years. This is my old truck. This is my 2010 Silverado 1500 that I built back in 2014. It's actually our first uh, major truck build. If you don't know, uh, or as you do know, I have a 2020 now, so I forced Taylor to buy this because I want my our child to have it. She feels it's not very girly, so she wants us to go through, do some stuff, and make it more girly for her. So we're gonna do that. And I'm also going to address a few things that I maybe have neglected over the last 10 years of owning this truck, like the massive misfire that it suddenly got. It's got a few leaks here and there, and it's, it's kind of just stuck in 2012, 2014 era. So we're gonna do a few new things. With this being like our first CO build, I don't want to ever get rid of this truck. That's why I made Taylor buy it. Literally just so I could get out from underneath on my name. This thing, I, I love this body style. This is my favorite body style. I absolutely love this truck and everything about it. I've stuck a lot of money and work into it over the years. She doesn't care. She just bought it for the clout. No, but you forced me to. I there's... actually wanted a Cat Eye Duramax, but it's okay. <laughs> anyway. Buy something newer. I want a Cat Eye Duramax. Okay, well, That's literally 10 I'm years saying, older. I'm saying the bank approved me to get something newer that costs more. So I built this truck a long, long time ago and it still kind of looks that way, but I really like it and I don't want to change anything on it. And Taylor's forcing us to because she wants a new style truck. Um, so this has been in every facet of CO. It was actually the first Fitman Industries vehicle back in the day, the big Fitman Inc. banner on the side. And I like set up all of the booths at all the car shows. It was really awkward and people didn't really understand, but hey, they're like a big company now. So it worked out. But yeah, this truck has literally been here every step of the way of custom offsets. So it's very sentimental to me. I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm going to give it to my kid. But in the meantime, Taylor wants to drive it and be like a truck girl and stuff. So we're going to go through it and, uh, and update it and Penny make it better for her. wants to buy it, for it's her. for sale now. So it's a 2010 Silverado 1500. Seven and a half inch rough country. It was a strut spacer kit. Basic, basic. We're starting out as a company. We didn't have all the money to blow on stuff like fully powder coated BDS suspension like Sean's got, stuff like that. So it, it was a very basic kit that we added on through the years. So now it's got the N3 struts, the upper control arms. I, it's got a set of traction bars because all we ever really used this thing for was to pull trailers and pull my boat. We're gonna actually keep all of that. It's all gonna stay rough country because a lot of it's new and without going to a McGoy's like everybody else has, this is the biggest kit you can get for these trucks, you know, being a, a seven inch kit. So we're gonna keep it like that, keep it simple. We're just gonna update it with some pretty girl stuff color wise. The 20 by 12 XD grenades, 35 inch Toyo MTs, you know, a very 2012, 2014 setup, I get it. We're gonna go a little bit bigger on the wheel and tire package. So back in the day, headlight builds were a big thing. I built myself a set of custom headlights. This thing has had light bars everywhere. We had a 50 on the roof, 50 behind the grill, 20 in the bumper, and cubes in the, in the fog light holes. So those are all gonna stay. Uh, she already took the 50 off the roof, unfortunately. I loved that light bar, but apparently that looks old. It's so um, bad, don't do that. It's not cool anymore. We got fender flares because there's some stuff on the bed sides that we didn't wanna see. So we have fender flares front and back. I'm still not fixing that. Maybe we'll do that down the road, but that's way more money than I'm investing for Taylor to drive this thing off a cliff. The old tow mirrors, these are the original style for this truck. I know everybody likes the new Boost Auto, like. 2015 body style mirrors, which I absolutely hate. It's got the old style tow mirrors, you know. It, it's a pretty basic truck for a 2014 build. It's all blacked out, which I know I've gotten so many compliments on, so many compliments on how it's all black and it looks so good all black. Okay, well. But Taylor wants to change anymore. all of that. All of it, changing all of it. So we will be powder coating the lift kit, new wheels, tires, performance parts to make this thing uh, run decent because right now it's... It ran good when I gave it to you. Yeah. He beats the hell out of it, did. 
then yeah. when you drove it yesterday, I heard you going around the block like. Yeah, it doesn't misfire if you floor it. If you drive like a grandma, like Taylor does, it it runs really rough. 20s aren't cool anymore. Unless it's like off-road looking setup, I want this to be like show quality build. Um, nothing against 20 inch wheels. I just prefer bigger wheels. So want to go with something bigger and wider. It's going to rub a lot, but it's going to look cool. Yeah, I'm really worried about the rubbing because I'm the one that has to make it not rub and then fix it you when she does. You can cut some more. So. This truck has all of the NorCal. This truck is where we learned how to do a NorCal, so it's really not pretty underneath these fender liners. That'll probably have to get addressed too. But it's gonna look cool. What are y'all powdering? The suspension, the track bars, uh, we got a diff cover. Um. There, there's a few other things that we're doing. Because she's adding a color, we're gonna do things like the bow tie on the grill, some rivets for around the grill, uh, drop hitch, rear diff cover. Uh, we're gonna do leaf springs and traction bars, most of the lift components, stuff like that, just to bring a little <clears throat> color into it. <sighs> I'm so mad about this, this truck is beautiful. It's mostly just an update. And then we're gonna address the running issues. So we've got a cam, we've got all engine internals. I've actually already rebuilt the top end on this truck one time um, before I lifted it because GM and their DOD and all that fun stuff. So it's been rebuilt once, it's time to get do it, to do it again and figure out the tune and why the hell it wants to misfire at idle sometimes, not all the time, just whenever it feels like it. And we're gonna make it a little bit louder because right now it had a nice Flowmaster dual exhaust system on it, which has progressively fallen off over the years and I've replaced it with other things. So um, it was straight piped with just a dump underneath the cab at one point and then it was straight piped to an axle dump and now it has a muffler with a dual axle dump. So we're gonna keep it that way. We're not gonna do anything fancy. We're gonna keep the, keep the axle dump for now. It's also a 10 year old truck that's been in Wisconsin its whole life. So underside isn't exactly the cleanest anymore. Oh, um, I got new rockers last summer. I didn't mention that. No one knew that. I was just getting into that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We fixed the rockers last year, that's been done, but the frame is a little scaly. Uh, we'll go through, clean that up a little bit. It needs some body work, but I don't think we're gonna worry about that this year. How long has this thing been out of storage? A day. We took it out yesterday and it took forever to start, and it's leaking oil. Just a little bit, but it's okay. We can ignore that. But I have yeah. to drive it, and I'm, it's so nice compared to our uh, daily driver. She thinks she's gonna get to drive it. I mean, it's in my name. And Joke I pay is, for it, both so. trucks are going to sit in the driveway and we're going to drive our shitty Impala. That's actually what's going to happen. It's going to be great. Nope. But it'll look cool. So, anyway, that's the plan. Uh, we're going to take the 2010 from 2015 and bring it up to 2020's standards. I think this is going to be like a three part series. So, you're going to want to subscribe, watch, live this adventure with us because I don't know what I'm going to get into, uh, when, especially once I dig into this engine. So, it should be quite interesting.